All right, UK Women's Circuit uh, Championship 2018. Here we go. Here is the start. I have footage of the whole race, so we got some good highlights. Now, there's some incredibly strong riders here and some not as strong riders. As you can see straight away, there's already a lot of gaps, a lot of aggressive racing going on today. No one wanted to sit down. Anyway, so Anna Henderson decides that, you know what, the best place to be is on the front. So on this technical circuit, it really is. Like, there's a lot of super tight corners where everyone's sprinting out, and she just decides that it's time to drill it. And she just starts drilling it, and she just whittles down the field. And now there's maybe nine riders on the front, more or less. Um, a couple I was coming across, but Anna Henderson really, you know, follows this move uh, by Crumpton. Uh, Beth Crumpton, I believe, is from Story Racing. Does a little attack, and then Anna Henderson is like, you know what? I'm going to attack again. So she goes off again, and on a little Bianchi Ultra, she is just absolutely flying around these corners and just destroying everyone else. Like no one can seem to be able to match her in the cornering. Sprinting out of corners, she's faster than everyone else, and she just. She just goes, and everyone else, I think she's like 19 or something, and she's just absolutely destroyed this race. I can see around that corner, she's put a lot of time into people, uh, and there's a, you know, a solid team now. We now have Nikki Juniper and Rona Callender, uh, who are chasing. Team Breeze have a lot of riders. They're in the red kit. They have a lot of people trying to chase her back, and they just couldn't do it. Look, you've got one, two, three, four riders there, um, and it's just it just kept on going out. She like had 20 seconds, and then it went up to like 45 seconds, and... Um, and it's now five seconds at the moment, but it, it literally just kept on going out. And it was just like no one had an answer. You can see again coming through that lap. Like there's just no one's really chasing properly. Um, I guess the thing is like story racing or I guess Breeze really had to chase because they have like three or four riders there. But they just didn't really have the numbers slash the willpower to actually do it. But look now, I mean, it's just like they don't seem to be panicked, these riders. I don't really get it. Like, they just seem to be completely cooked, all of them. And Anna Henderson is just in a completely different league. Just kept on powering away. I mean, to be fair, like, if you're... She's a very good technical rider here. So it means, like, she can basically out-corner everyone else, um, I think, around these corners. I think she was getting a lot of time there. And then on the straights, just sort of sprint because it's a super technical circuit. But again, you can see here, there's just no concerted chase. There's, like, four of them just across the road. And no one's really trying to drill it to get her back. Around these corners, again, it's just, like, pretty technical around these parts. She isn't taking too many risks, especially with this one, because it's like a double right-hander. Um, but yeah, it's just, it was a great race, to be honest, because uh, she just smashed it. I mean, again, you can see here's, here's a couple people getting excited on the front. I believe this is Nikki Jr., but I think uh, it's very hard to tell the numbers because like, the commentary was quite fucked. But yeah, this is Nikki Juniper and Rona Calendar, 100%. They've just attacked off the front. Um, and you can see, I mean, that, like she's got teammates. So there's a lot of people just chilling out. This was then brought back and then Joe Tinley decided, you know what, it's time to go. So she launched. Um, and again, story racing here. They've got two people. They put someone on the front, but they're not really getting her back. Anna Henderson is now out the saddle, just destroying people again. Just like kept on lapping people. She's lapped so many people. I mean, this circuit is only about maybe a minute 40, a minute 50 for the women. And she like at the end of the race finished with a minute advantage. Um, so she really did just sort of destroy. We now see a drops rider who, you know, one of the real big riders racing in the women's world tour quite often. So again, you thought the drops team, you know, they might be uh, getting it back. This is... I believe something for Nikki for Juniper Racing. Um, he's trying to get across this gap, but it's just, it's just not really happening. To be honest, like it's it's just not happening at all. Uh, Anna Henderson's now got a minute advantage. Uh, we're coming into the last couple laps, and it was really like, I mean, she was just by far the strongest rider, and decided to take absolutely no chances, and basically just turn it into a time trial. Just went off the front and just launched it. Um, as you can see, like, I mean, there's decent crowds out. To be fair, like it was good they had the stream. I mean, it was, it was a shame that the race was just so dominated by Anna Henderson because it wasn't the most spectacular race I've ever seen. Uh, but it was interesting nonetheless, and it was good to get some exposure of a team on form uh, who are like a UK-based team, uh, and they're doing pretty well. Uh, I think they're, they're one of the strongest women's teams, even though they're not actually continental or, like, UCI approved. So anyway, here you can see is the chaser, who is Joe Tinley, who's just looking like she's really not, not in a great place. <laughs> I mean, she's trying to get across, but it's just... It's just not going to happen. Again, out the corner, good acceleration, up to speed, and then that is pretty much it. Here you go, coming towards the this finish straight. I believe she might have one more lap. Oh, no, I think this is the lap, final lap, um, just cruising down here. Uh, and she knows she's got the win. Takes it pretty convincingly, over a minute advantage. Um, she's pretty gassed here, as you would be if you were like 19 and won the circuit race championships. Um, her teammate over here gives her a good, gives her a good little hug. Uh, and then we have to, you know, have a bit of a jump cut because she was so far ahead of everyone else. Um, 
And then, yeah, Joe Tinley came in for second place, I believe. And a long way back, a long, long, long way back for Joe Tinley, um, which was, yeah, she got silver, but not great. And then the sprint finish, uh, Jess Roberts managed to get thirds for Team Breeze, um, as you can see. Oh, no, sorry, this is the second place still. Um, and then we will see the sprint finish in a bit for the third place here. A uh, bit of a crash on the left-hand side, absolute chaos. I'm not really sure what happened. We didn't get to see much details of that. Um, I think it was probably just a touch of wheels or something, uh, but it was pretty high speed crash, probably going 55, 60 k an hour, maybe there. Uh, but anyway, I hope everyone's okay involved in the crash. Probably a little touch of wheels or something, a little bit of nerves. Looks like they just hit the barrier. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this. Uh, and the men's version of this, the men's championships should be up later today, um, which is also a very exciting race. did hear that here. Emotions running very high in Team One Four, and Anna, a truly dominant performance. Your gap was enormous. Was that your game plan going in, or did you just attack on instinct? Oh, absolutely not. It was not the game plan to have to TT for over 40 minutes. But um, no, I just knew that um, that one was a bit of a dive bomb corner, and I was like, oh, see what happens, see who follows, and nobody followed. <laughs> so um, yeah, just it was a case of just staying on top of the pace and yeah, keeping going, pushing through the pain. And of course. Thank you.